61 in Hauser Hill and those areas. So there are a lot of deer out there still causing havoc for not only cars, but also in the cemetery. We, we cannot keep vegetation in a good state. Kenstein Park, we have a lot of difficulty with trees not being destroyed by, by deer down there. So we have issues in the park system. I believe we had Parks two weeks. Have ever been open to deer hunting? Public lands have been opened at one time. Different parts of them have been. And there was one hunter that I told him if someone brought that up, I would say that a hunter is interested in public lands being available to hunt on. The uh -huh. Recreation and Advisory Commission has not supported that in the past. And the citizens have not supported that in the past when we did do that. It's pretty obvious there's enough land already available to the hunters. I don't know about that. My opinion. I do know that we are main. We are in a maintenance program with the deer eradication program, so that would suggest that the deer are being controlled. I believe we had at least two areas of town that actually had growth in in, in deer. Uh, the last time we did the flyover, um, I know I'm in one. So. One of the things I noticed is uh, not seeing deer as often as I used to. So to me, it's pretty obvious the numbers are dwindling. And, and they are, of course. And that's a good thing to a certain extent. I understand that. <laughs> We do receive as many calls from the citizens to why are we hunting deer as to why please stop hunting deer. So it is, it's mixed out there. <laughs> this is an efficient, cost-effective way to manage the deer population, much different than Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, the Davenport area, where they're paying for actually hunters. And some, some cases in the past years have paid for hunters to come in. So this has been an efficient, cost-effective way to control this. Would you say, considering the present number and what's been happening, that one acre might be sufficient as a designated amount? Of I would not answer that. I'd ask for Greg Harris, the ID and our officer, to come and talk to you about that. I wish he was here. He was invited. Well, if, since you asked about an amendment, I, I'll, I'll offer that we amend this, the amount of acreage to be covered from two acres to one acre, which was the original amount. A second to that motion. We do not have a second. That's fine. Uh, further comment, anybody? Yeah, further comment, Jerry? Well, no, no, I just, you know, I just wanted to call your attention to what's happening. And I know most citizens really don't know what the deer count is or how many have been killed a specific year, so maybe the discussion tonight will make them more aware. But the question that needs to be asked, Jerry, uh, did we have any accidents due to the fact that we have two acres, not one acres? And according to the reports, we have zero accidents based on that. So That's that tells you that there's a safe hunters out there with the proficiency that tests that they are taking here they are qualified to do that on two acres so I agree I but it also tells me that the hunters have a larger area from which to kill the deer two acres well, you still yeah, have when the, the count I mean when the count is down Actually, Council Member, 
if you would do decrease this to one acre, you would actually increase the areas that could be hunted on. Yeah. Therefore, you would allow for more Same hunting area. areas. Yeah. More exactly. You would allow for more hunting areas if you did decrease it down to one acre. Because right now, if you do not have two acres, you can combine with your neighbors to get the two acres. So you would allow for more areas with only one acre limit. There were more areas before then, are you saying? There would be more acres available to hunt on if you decreased it to one acre. But when it was one acre, there were more areas? I don't, I don't know that, but I'm... <clears throat> But if you decrease it to one acre, you will have more areas able to hunt on than less. Okay. But we don't know that there were more areas when it was one acre. <laughs> we also used to provide opportunity for hunters to use Fuller Park, if I remember correctly, and some of the other parks. And we have since uh, do not allow that. Stop that. That's good. So, a positive impact. Uh, there's been a lot of, of deer meat to donate it to, throughout the community for those in need. So that's been a very positive impact. Yeah, this is, I think there's been more positive from the deer hunt personally, Jerry, than the information we received, you know, reduce the number of deer, keep them off the roads because it's a hazard when they're hit by a vehicle and and providing food for local food pantries. So that's my opinion over your opinion. I guess I, yeah, I'm speaking for the other side. <laughs> Who were here first? You or me? No, the deer no. are you. <laughs> Thank you. Any other uh, questions or comments, Council? <laughs> no one. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Nay. Motion carries five to one. It is time for communication from council members. Bill? Nothing at this time, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, Scott. I have nothing, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Osama? I have nothing tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Bob Bynum? Nothing tonight, Your Honor. Okay. Diane? Just um, a couple uh, brief items. One is it had conversation with uh, Leanna Richardson from the Playmore Lane, and uh, this might be already public information, but uh, she was very excited to, to say that uh, the Women's State Bowling Tournament will be coming to Muscatine in 2013, and then the men's in 2014. They've already secured that, so that's very good for uh, Muscatine business and uh, our community. The other is that I'd like to share with the fellow council members that the Iowa League of Cities uh, was in contact with me and asked if I would serve on the executive board for the Iowa League of Cities. And that has to be the, it always has to work to the right number of people that serve because it depends on the size of the city and how many people are uh, are representing. But I uh, was sworn in or voted in or drafted, however you want to term that, uh, last week at a meeting. And so I'll be representing uh, Muscatine as I attend those meetings on the, on the Iowa League of Cities on the executive board. So I, I think that it will provide a lot of information that I'll be able to bring back to council from time to time that will help in Muscatine. So good. Thank good. you. Good thing. Jerry? I would just wish everyone.
everyone a very enjoyable Labor Day. Very good. Thanks, Chair. Greg? A couple items, Your Honor. Uh, just read this first one. Muscatine Power and Water uh, Generation Facility was awarded the 2011 Powder River Basin Plant of the Year Small Plant Category by the PRB Coal Users Group. So I just wanted to announce that we have, they're going to be having an open house on Wednesday, September 14th. Muscatine Power and Water Plant located at 1700 Dick Drake Way, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. if you're interested. Um, the city received, uh, as you may recall, the uh, energy efficiency grant for the Art Center, $16,886. We'll be moving forward with that grant. And boiler replacement, City Hall, um, has been submitted, uh, revised, and uh, it's looking favorable. We'll let you know as soon as we hear on that grant as well. Hope to move forward with that one as well. There's a siren grant, uh, warning system grant that we're taking a look at as well with the fire department and emergency management and hope to have more information on that. As you may recall, we've had quite a few expenditures of late uh, with repair and maintenance of our siren system. And one last item, uh, we'll be looking, as, you, as I noted in my update, need to be looking at goals for next fiscal year, next calendar year. Um, I need to put a couple of dates, uh, recommended dates together, get those out to you. Would you prefer a weekday uh, evening or a Saturday morning session? I guess I was looking for some input from you in uh, October, late September, October. <coughs> Or do you have a preference? Otherwise, I'll shoot out a few dates and see. We get as Maybe many as possible. You can give us some options, and we can check schedules. We will get back to you on that. Yeah. Just a couple <laughs> dates, and then we yeah. can make a decision from there. Maybe okay. a few of each, and we can do it. And you have, have a consensus. You have four council seats open. After the election, I'm just thinking of giving uh, the new the. Uh, but typically, we like to utilize that as going into budget as as information uh, that we utilize in preparing department goals and and budget review for the council. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. I'll put okay. some dates together. You'll have those very shortly. That's okay. all I have. That's it? Mr. Fran, do you have anything? Real quick. I sent out an email for the Aldi's open house. Scott, do you think you're going to go to the Aldi's open house? I don't believe so. Thank you. Jerry? You will. Osama? I would love to. You, you are, yeah, you're But I put me down. But what's that? Yes. Put me down. Okay. That's all I need. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fran. Well, after my stellar performance this evening, I'm not being able to put things together, read, or do whatever was necessary. We did finally struggle through council. Thank you very much. And is there a motion to adjourn? Council is adjourned.